able to just spam out on this Gyro, who very is very, very squishy early on into the game. Gantra's already rotating top. Uh-oh. Oh, Lycan. Lycan's dead. Again, he's hitting so hard. Like, like I just said, he used the Astral Spree as plus 47 damage. Yeah, it's just one more hit. Nope, maybe, maybe another. <laughs> Matthew actually gets first blood. Meanwhile, elsewhere, he pops the salve. Lycan, he's going to stay alive. Now, the Sentinel wasn't able to get in there. Elder Titan was blocking it, but the slow from the Astral Spirit. There's the stomp. Not the most damage now for Elder Titan stolen, but it should be enough. One more. Oh, my oh, God, he's on. still alive. King Tekka. Finally. Blood from a down. stone. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> get the kill. Yeah, the enchant finally comes off cooldown, and the enchantress gets in there with the Fentor stomp and skill. Uh, because it, the, the ET is a weird hero, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> it started out being a mid hero from the Chinese scene in Dota 1, and I'm talking like nine years ago or something like that. All right. Boulder, brought, your aid. Boulder brought it back three or four years ago, and it's like, this hero is sick. I'm going to play it off lane, and he brought back this stomp build. Middle lane, by the way. Tinker, great execution. The ice shards block coming out from Matthew. Might come at a cost. Maledict is up. It's only level one, though. So, no, Matthew will be fine. In fact, he wants to go back in four seconds on the shard. Pika lane, Johnny. Not too shabby. Okay. Two, two hits, and that's what? 30% of Lycan's HP gone? At level six, he actually does get Echo Stomp. Okay. Interesting there. Um, look at Lycan, though, by the way. You mentioned the, the one point in the house. Oh, uh, which doctor gets found? Matthew could have put the kill in the middle lane, but Lycan actually does have level 2 HAL now. So he is starting to level it up. A little that, bit different. That's more surprising, yeah. yeah. Feeling like their lanes need a little more bolstering with that, with that HAL, and here's this solo here up at top. Why not? Yeah, they're going to set up this kill. That should be... Oh, what the HAL? Yes. Bane will finish the job. Big kill on Elder Titan, almost 300 gold for the Bane. But yeah, result. because they're running this aggro dual lane, right, with the Tusk and the Puck, they're putting so much... Added vulnerability, worst case shape. Uh, pop right here by Lycan. He's going for the turn kill on Enchantress. He avoids the Echo Stop at the time. I mean, he's really manning up, man. He wants this kill and it comes at a cost. <laughs> the auto attack damage of Elder Titan. There you go. You gotta respect it. 203 damage. Yeah. Eight minutes in. Right. I like to hear potentially. Fuck you. I'm gonna say, he, the way he was stuttering, he's like, wait a second, something's not right. <laughs> the Invis Tusk. On topping, good Maledict response, uh, Darkman. Trying to set up a turn kill, maybe. Nightmare to currently. Homing missile. Just gonna be avoided. You go. As they do finish off Witch Doctor, though, they eventually are able to run him down. Gyro with 9 1 charges doesn't really have anywhere to go. He's, he's stuck here under the tower. That's another kill on Lycan. Gyro's <laughs> dying. Oh, God, yeah. And Gyro dies bottom lane. Alright, so both cores going down on either side. The Lycan is still farming decent, oh, right? You, know, you mentioned that earlier. His CS is still keeping up to a d decent pace here. Helm is already up. Necro should be on its way. Titan's doing a great job, but he's not really shutting down the Lycan's farm. He's getting kills, but it's still King Tekka doing exceptionally well in this lane. That troll, man, netting up the Elder Titan, the Dream Coil as well, but he's just going to TP out, but the I was, I was thinking that. I was like, you know what? That's probably going to kill him, and it did. Yeah, enough auto attack damage from Smash thrown in there. Finish the job, so good kill on Elder Titan once again, but I was noticing this item build early on. Look at Shadow Fiend. He goes right into Boots of Travel. Ooh. After his Ring of Aquila. Who was it early we saw do the... It was Iron Isle, right? The blink into bots? <laughs> yes, I believe it was, that's, yeah. That's the... That's the this TP's out. They do safeguard the stacks, though, for the Tinker, which is the most important thing. Make sure that he keeps his fall. Oh, great snowball to avoid the Echo Stop, meanwhile. And Matthew taking credit for the kill, but most of the damage, of course, coming from Shadow Fiend. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a reset for the other Titan, but the Snowball activated. As it was just about to start. A lot of things coming out. They definitely see them, of course, in the area. Shadow Fiend's running over there to assist as well. Other Titan, he's going to TP in. Meanwhile, like in top lane, they just run down the Jarrow Copters. Like in a pop back to the middle lane. If it just attacks on Shadow Fiend, the sleep hits from the other Titan. The cast gets well. This, uh, this uh, Shadow Fiend's in a lot of trouble. He's dead. Again, the damage of other Titan helps finish him off right there, so... Going to Shadow Fiend. Radiant Courier dies in the meantime, somewhere, somehow. Okay. SF probably screaming for his team. Good, good to kill it, but obviously they can see you while you're doing it, so. They come on over trying to stop them. Meanwhile, the Roma's still real. They keep going around. Elder Titan, he has a stomp, but it's just too much of a channel at this point. There was no way he was getting it off, so. Just tries to run. Doesn't work either. Yeah, I think if that Obs Ward hadn't gone down the exact moment it did, the Fiend's Grip from Bane would have come out and potentially just killed the Witch Doctor. Oh, true. But it was uh, a very quick move. Take down the Obs Overboard. Witch Doctor, of course. 
Dairo not having the best of times though. No. 3.1k <laughs> net worth, level seven and a half, towers are all falling, oh, no. <laughs> and now he's gripped. <laughs> he just walks right up and Fiend's grip his face. Yes, he gets stopped pretty quickly, but it just allowed the time for his teammates to get in there and finish the job. And the struggle continues for Gyrocopter. Bottom lane, they would love to chase down Kezia, but a little bit too far, the Dream Quest. But tanky, especially up against all this ranged right click damage that comes out. But oh. any problems. Poor <laughs> witch shot. He <laughs> just runs into the ulti form of Lycan. Dies in a couple of hits. The call out's gonna do nothing. And now Lycan just goes right back in. He can't be too greedy though. Nice sleep on Elder Titan nearby. Lycan, maybe you can be too greedy. He just runs after him, gets the kill. He's gonna have to TP out somehow. Homing missile though is gonna make that difficult. He does have backup. Vance coming in. Tinker nearby. Tinker gets lifted up by the Yozo Requiem right on top. Boom! Shaka lock up. Baby Metal's dead. Killing spree for Van. And Lycan buying the time to TP away while his teammate dies. Dinker. So many windows. Cantra spotted as she comes in. May have got away with that ward, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Shadow Fiend, meanwhile, he's just pointing to the top lane to help finish off the kill onto Armageddon. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Because. What we've seen previously is Bane is a great hero to pair up with something like an Io, right? You've got Nightmare to stop one hero, Fiend's Grip to stop the other, but with Boot to Travel on the Shadow Fiend, equally as good. Oh, true, with, yeah. You know, almost Blink Yules completed. You're looking at potential double kills across the map whenever this Bane sets up for them. Yeah, the execution's very nice right now from uh, from Team Peru. And, and now you have that Blink Dagger coming along from Shadow Fiend. He's doing all this without that extra mobility of the Blink Dagger. So once he has that, the positioning is going to be fantastic from Fan. Good luck getting away. Speaking of getting away, Tusky ports out of the bottom lane before they collapse onto him. And the rest of his team doing Roshan. Double damage on Lycan helps with that. He has a helmet of Dominator, of course. And a Necronomicon level 2 currently. I clicked on the puck, looked at the clock. I thought, oh yeah, Veil Treads Bottle, you're queuing up Dagon, typical Smash stuff. And then he got to the fountain and there's a, there's a, there's a dagger just sitting on the floor. And I'm like, oh, I 16 minutes in and this puck has like 6k and 7k net worth. Wow, yeah. Fair enough. Smash is just cruising in this one. Easy Roche down with a DD Lycan to start things off. Give it over to Van Shadow Fiend. Gotcha. Or purchase if he so desires. And. Oh, Dyro dead here. Homing missile's good. That'll deter him. Chantress, meanwhile, slept up top lane. Buying time for somebody to come over. That's somebody's tusk. He's using the... the oh, I thought that was his centaur, actually. Never mind. It's just the neutral. Just helping out a little bit. <laughs> Kezia, walking away. He did take over the centaur. And he's going to walk right back into Bane. Bane has a feast. Oh, we try to activate it. But the line of sight. You could see the animation going off. But the line of sight keeps Enchantress alive, actually. And that level 4 untouchable is a tough kill, of course. Oh, Gyro. Oh, Gyro. See ya! He got the homing missile off. This might be Van Dying. No? Okay. JK smashes here. <laughs> Smash, saving the day. There's Splitter. It's not going to connect. And even Van's going back in. He finishes off Enchantress. And needs to respect the rockets. And that hits. Oh! I thought with the Maledict. What was that been possible. Uh, he's dead. I have 11 speed, naturally. I'm just cruising around the map. This something. But yeah, like it just sitting up here, that level 3 Necro as you mentioned. Putt, this is bait. They wanted this. Will it work out? He avoids the cone in the nation of the patient. Here comes Lycan now the ulti form. They do kill Puck. Jarocopter getting low, though. Lycan's here to finish the job. Witch Doctor and Jarrow will fall. And now Kezia is also going to be the next victim in line. That untouchable again. So annoying to deal with. But eventually they have enough damage to go through. They get the kill. Yeah, Lycan, okay, yeah. But, but I was going to say, you better think about that right there, so. Yeah, Rod of Atos, we saw coming out from Elder Titan, by the way. As, oh, that's a walrus punch. And he's probably dead. Yeah, no raise needed. Bye bye, Ethi. Yeah, sick against the Puck. See there, you know, no phase shift, no blink. Make sure that Puck has to kind of waste abilities, not get the. F the mud going from. Tusk already up here, the Sigil spotting it out, and Inteka's like, now's the time. He runs in with the Shape Shift. Obviously, the Cask Bounce, well, the Death Row's gonna be stopped pretty quickly due to his death. Did he get the most damage off? The cask is still bouncing around. So many minions nearby in the back lines. Elder Titan goes down. Dream call on him to make sure. Enchantress. Here we go again. Oh, he got stunned. <laughs> he got the stunned by the mud golem. Oh, that's just that's just rude. He was dead anyways. Oh, boots travel towards bottom. No, it's uncool now. Bane is there. They, they want oh. this. 
It's gonna happen. Ten seconds for Boots yeah. to travel on SF. He'll just run down there. He's fast. There he is. <laughs> Got a blink Change as well. And go. That took what, like six seconds? That's what to I'm get saying. Top down towards it. <laughs> movement insane. speed is crazy. Gyro, oh, okay. Gyro found some bounty runes. That's it. Game changing. Radiance top tower. Oh boy, he's still being hunted. Uh, 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 I don't think you saw him. Yeah. Okay, let's get. What's up here? This is Lycan. He's dying. Dom connects. Tusk throwing out the shards, trying to save the day. Not going to happen. Tusk will avoid the rocket with the blink. Down a little bit, Puck. Almost gets caught there. Shadow Fiend is going for the Requiem right on top of Gyro. Godlike streak indeed. <laughs> and that's Kezia did as well. Double kill. Tinker knew what was coming. He drops the well played before Gyro even hits the ground. He's like, yeah, dude, you're dead. <laughs> this is how this works. As long as I'm surviving, I've got my Kaya, I've got my Blink. He's pinging himself like, I'm alive, I don't care about you. Typical Tinker. Uh, yeah, really is. Typical Tinker. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to solo win the game. All that's about him. It's an ethereal blade. As well, he has the ghost scepter. Just needs uh, the other component right That's there. The eagle not song. meant to happen. Yeah, Tinker decided to like him. How did that happen? One v one. He blinked into tier one and died. Aha! Uh -huh. Call down. That's just gonna kill the minions at least. And we've seen this before. But even though he needed a requiem, he could have just like double raised. No, he did it. It just it feels good. Oh, he missed the first rate, but it doesn't matter. That TP fell long. Okay, well you know calls it. I think the game is kind of over. <laughs> Alright, there you go. What does that mean? Thank you for the... Gracias a la clay. 